Capricorn. Welcome to your June monthly reading. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. I am so excited about this June for you Capricorn. There is so much amazing energy that is going on. There is so much um, big shifts, big changes that are happening for a lot of the signs. Oh, Ollie's sitting right there and he almost bit the card. The card landed on him. Mm, I love this. This is the Queen of Cups. The first thing I think of when I see this for you is your deep intuition, your deep knowing, your deep trust, trusting your gut, knowing that the flow, the flow that you are experiencing, they're like trust, trust the flow, trust, trust when, trust everything about the flow, trust everything about whatever is coming to you, whatever is happening. Um, this is uh, like sacral chakra. And so there's like that relationship with self. There's also relationships with other people, other things that could be like family partners that can be your, um, your, your job, your entrepreneurial business, your career. This can be, um, this can be the relationship with yourself. And so really honing in and listening to the cues, listening to your signs, to the signs, to the messages, to the messages that you receive, that beautiful water energy. I just feel like there's a lot of flow, but a very strong, very strong flow. Let's see what you receive. So here is the hermit. Now this is perfect for June. So Capricorn, we are in the Gemini energy right now. And there is a lot of this. The Hermit, the Hermit is a major arcana for a reason. So it comes up as a challenge, but I think that there's that, there's that deep going, like really, really deep and getting right down into roots, getting right down into it. Um, sometimes um, people don't want to do it. And I'm just, there's, there's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of deep knowing that you have within you that you can like go down deep and get that can help with that can happen with journaling that can happen with uh meditation that can happen with um affirmations really being picky with the affirmations that you have and that you're using and use some things that are deeper, more meaningful, maybe something that makes you uncomfortable. So those affirmations, those intentions, the goals. So make those goals bigger, make those intentions bigger. That's what I'm getting for this is like, you're going for the gold, you're going for the platinum, like you, you want, you want big. And sometimes I think uh, for some that, uh, you're not allowing yourself to, you're not trusting yourself enough. These, there's that, that Gemini, there's that air, there's in that hermit, the duality, the really deep thinking, there's a little bit of an analytical, a lot of, um, that intellect. Um, I love that. And so with the queen that brings in that, that intuitive, that, that soft flow, but also that trust. So you have here as your belief energy. So there's almost like there's like, you're being handed something to make like a complete, uh, set and you're not taking it because it's, I feel like there's, you, you feel like it's too good to be true, too good to be true. I feel like you don't think that this could be happening for you, but it is, it is happening for you. Oh, 
And here is the root energy. So this one here, the six of pentacles. Now, the six for this year, 2022, 2022 equals six. So this six card, very, very big. So for your root energy, those scales are balanced. This here, this is representing giving is receiving. This is representing that you giving, now it doesn't have to be monetary, but you giving your time, you lending your ear, you listening, being there. And so it's like you're this pillar, you're this foundation as the pentacle energy is, you're the foundation and you're helping, you're assisting um, with other people and your wisdom, your deep knowing, uh, that's really, really helping people. And also that six energy that is extremely abundant. So there's that attracting, attracting, attracting more, more, and more. So that giving is receiving. Remember to receive as much as you give. That's the big, big lesson of 2022 <laughs> is giving as much as you, or sorry, receiving as much as you give. Because um, we, as human beings, have a, have a difficult time with that. And I know that, you know, it's something to work on. And it's something to uh, allow those baby steps in, but to know and to acknowledge that you give, you give, you give, but you also have to receive, receive, receive. So know that you are completely 100% worthy of receiving. Now, this is your present energy. There is a lot that you can create. You have all of this land, all of this, this energy in front of you that you can create, that your creative juices are flowing, your fire, you're ready to walk through. You're ready to walk through these two, which could be pillars, which could be this doorway. You're ready to walk through. You're ready to have all of these new thoughts, all of these t uh, new creative ideas uh, come into fruition. Sorry, I'm saying the same thing, but I'm not allowing it to come out. So anyway, yes, you are creating. You're creating big time. I love that. I love it. Now, you have such an amazing, incredible energy. Oh, yes. See, this is yours. This is your energy. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, this is amazing. Capricorn, Wheel of Fortune, this beautiful cycle. See, talking about that receiving, talking about creating, walking through. As you have both of those wands on either side of you, you're walking through. That is unreal and I mean this is as in like fantastic amazing incredible you have this wheel of fortune fortune your fortune I love that this makes me so happy Capricorn wow wheel of fortune as your future energy that's so beautiful so abundant Okay, so for your internal energy, this is that infinite strength. That is that fire energy, that solar plexus. You have that confidence. You have the ability to tame that lion. I absolutely love that. The infinite strength to be going through whatever it is that, that comes your way, whichever uh, unfolds in front of you. Now, here we go. This one, it ties into having some difficulty with the wisdom. So this here is the eight of wands. Now, seeing that all the wands, they're all pointing down. They're all stuck. They're all stuck in the ground. And so what this represents is illusion because your your eyes are bound your body is bound and what's that what that is representing that you 
you feel stuck, but it's just an illusion. It's just something that you are allowing yourself to think, but you can change that. You can take the blindfold off. You can take those binds off and you can walk away from all of those swords that are sticking down. Don't bother trying to take any of them out of the ground. Too much of your energy, way too much energy trying to take those out. So allow yourself just to simply walk away and to simply know you trust yourself. You receive, you create, you receive big. Wow, like that's awesome. That strength, that internal strength to see past the illusions. Ooh, so let's see for hopes, dreams, and fears. That was like way too many cards. Yes, there you go. Opportunities. This is the Seven of Cups. Capricorn, I love this. There's so many things that are available and that are making themselves available to you. So allow yourself to be open to receive all that is coming to you. Now for your completion, yes. Wish fulfillment. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love this so much. This is the nine of cups. This is the nine of, it is almost coming to fruition. It's so close. And yes, that is your future. That is what you're working towards. That is amazing. Wheel of fortune, wish fulfillment, creation. The giving is receiving. You're walking through, you're walking in a new a new pathway. That is amazing. Trust. That's beautiful, Capricorn. I love this for your reading. I love this for your June. You have such amazing, incredible opportunities that are coming to you. This is beautiful. Things are really going to be working out. I absolutely love that. Have the most amazing June, Capricorn. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for listening to me and thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.